Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? How's your morning? I'm doing all right, thank you for asking. Really quick, thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Right now, I'm getting ready to leave. We're gonna go visit a cafe, coffee shop in downtown Seattle, just for the fun of it. I'm gonna take this book with me because I've been reading this. I'm like more than halfway done with it. I'm right here, what chapter is this? Chapter 16. I picked this up from Barnes and Noble the other day because I finished my last book that I was reading and I wanted, I wanted something more. I still have not read either of these two self-help books that I bought. They're just not as entertaining as like a thriller or a mystery or a fiction book, you know? They kind of bore me a little bit. I only read those when I just really feel like I need some help. <laughs> it is freezing cold outside. You know how when you go outside and it's so cold that your nostrils like burn and your eyes start watering because it's just so cold and there's this wind it just makes you i don't know where i was going with that anyways wearing this top from it's either from top shop or princess polly i think it's princess polly this jacket is from misguided it's not like that's like stiff leather it's super comfortable and it also keeps me super warm i don't know what it is i feel like leather jackets are really good at like holding in your body heat. And then I'm wearing these jeans, which have holes in them, and I was like, you know what? It is way too cold to be feeling that freezing, ice, sharp breeze go up my pants. I'm just, I can't do that. So, I decided to put on my fleece-lined nude leggings, which I actually ordered on Amazon a while ago. I just feel like it's a staple to have if you live somewhere where it's really, really cold most of the time, or just like for winter or fall. I feel like that way you can still wear cute outfits, but not be freezing cold. And I got these, actually, because I saw this girl styling an outfit, and she put these on first and black tights over them and then a skirt so like even though she was looking super cute and wearing a skirt her legs were still nice and warm this is a good idea the only thing is that they are a little bit lighter than my skin now i actually did get a decent tan in mexico like i can tell that i am a little bit tanner you guys can see like my tan line on my bikini especially on my back for some reason you can see like <laughs> where the little like where I tied the bow in the back with the strings anyways, this is my outfit. Okay, let's go because I'm hungry parking there's never any parking in seattle i had to park down the street the cafe is like all the way at the end of the street and it's so loud i was <laughs> so like cafe so the place that i'm going to i feel like i have to scream it's called seattle sunshine coffee quiet vibe in there. I think I'm gonna start doing this more often because there's so many cafes in Seattle. I'm gonna just go to as many different coffee shops and cafes as I can. There's a lot of good ones that look super cute online. This place I liked, as you guys saw, it did have an upstairs area. It was nice and quiet. There wasn't like too many people in there. The coffee was really, really good. I drank the entire thing. The blueberry muffin was also really, really good. They didn't really have any like breakfast, like actual food 
food items. So I just got a muffin. There was a girl that was sitting like kind of in front of me, like to the side. I think you guys probably saw her in the clip where I kind of recorded the entire upstairs area. When I first walked up there and I went to sit down, she was looking at me and she saw that I had my camera with me. Like she saw it when I was putting my camera up on the table. So I don't know if she was just looking because she was interested. Like, ooh, why is this girl filming? Why does she have a camera with her but even after i had it put away like she kept low-key turning around and looking at me you know how when you can tell when someone's like low-key trying to look at you but they're not trying to make it obvious like she would like do a little like back crack where you kind of like turn around and i kept seeing her like look at me she seemed really nice low-key i wanted to be like hi do you want to be friends but i don't know how to talk or make new friends even though i would love to make more friends i don't know how to do that because i'm just a socially anxious awkward person <laughs> i wish i would have said something or i wish she would have said something but maybe both of us just didn't know how to make a new friend now i think i'm gonna head to target there's a target around here that i want to go to we're in downtown seattle so maybe the targets down here are a little bigger or have more things Hello. Good, how are you? Good. Bathrooms? Yeah, they're down there. Thank you. This Target is freaking huge. It has an upstairs and a downstairs. There's so much stuff here. I'm in this aisle because I need, I need something like this, but bigger and not too tall because I need to fit it under my bed. I need somewhere to put all of my swimwear and bedding stuff and i need it to be like plastic because i can't have these under there because harley goes under my bed all the time and she would definitely chew on something like this they literally have everything here the home decor section is huge i want to live here i honestly don't need it to look pretty because it's going to be stored away under my bed this is honestly kind of perfect i should have probably got a cart because i'm not going to be able to carry all this stuff in my arms why do I always get the loudest carts? I'm gonna get two of these. I think two will be enough. I found the throw blankets. Oh my gosh. These pillows are freaking gorgeous. This makes me want to just like redecorate my entire house right now. I really like these. These always get really like fluffy and blown out over time, but I just like the look of the knitted crochet whatever blanket. And I want something beige like this on my couch. And I also got, <laughs> look at my cart. <laughs> Nothing fits in here. I got two huge white pillows for my bed. I want all of my bedding to be like white. That's what I'm trying to do. These pillows are insanely soft and comfortable. I also kind of like this one, this color. I think I'm gonna get this one also for my bed. I'm back home now. I'm unpacking everything. As you guys saw, I bought a couple blankets, one for out here, the living room, and one for my bed, and the pillows for my bed also. I showed you guys that. Whoa, you think this is for you? This is not for you, little girl. Even though you're probably gonna put your hairs all over it. I take out all this stuff. I had another blanket like this one, but it was a lot thinner and smaller. And it was actually a little darker than this one. I kind of liked the color of the last one too, but I threw it away because it was just really old. This one feels a lot thicker, heavier, just better. Sorry, but I just put my butt in your face. <laughs> Show you guys what else I got. Trash bags, because I needed some. I also got these two little mint bowls. I love these bowls. I have a few other ones that are like pink and this like orange. I just wanted to add to the collection. So I got these two and these plastic bowls and cups are really inexpensive at Target. So that's why I also got six cups. A couple mint ones, a couple like grayish ones, and then a couple blue ones. And these are like 75 cents. And then I also got a soap dispenser, a new one for my bathroom. I had one that fit my bathroom perfectly. It was like a light beige and then the top of it was like this black like matte black. It wouldn't like pump out the soap properly so I got rid of it. And then when I went back to Target they didn't have that one anymore. I'm pretty sure they probably have it online. Maybe I could buy it, but every time I've gone back to look for that one, it's not there. When I went last time, I had to pick just like a regular white one. I just don't really like it at all. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's like super plain. I just got it because it was the only like minimal one that was there at the time. I mean, it kind of matches with this. My mom actually got me this and it has little like floss picks in there. She was like, girl, you need a floss. It looks... A little bit better than this one. I feel like this one's just too like bulky. I don't know if I like how that looks either, but at least it's better. It kind of gives me like dentist vibes. I don't know. 
I don't know. And then I also stopped at Ace Hardware to get this. It's a household tool kit. I mainly got this because I need a power drill type of thing. I don't know anything about tools, but I looked up power drill and this came up and I love it because it's pink and everything inside it is pink. So that's why I got it. <laughs> it was so funny though, cause I went in there and of course it's like 100% dudes. And he was like, oh, what can I help you with? And I'm like, do you guys have a pink power drill? <laughs> Just kidding, no, I didn't say that. I was like, if I'm gonna get a tool set, which I desperately needed because I don't have a hammer. This has a hammer. Literally has everything that I need. Tape measure, little precise knife thingy, cordless screwdriver thing, a level. Okay, I'm dropping things. Scissors, pliers. They actually didn't have it in the first store that I went into. And he was like, I've never seen a pink tool set before. And I was like, yeah, I bet no one's come in here asking for one. I'm gonna be using that later for a little project that I've been needing to do, but I haven't done, so you guys will see that. I also received my grocery box from Thrive Market a couple days ago, actually. I already opened the box and ate some of the snacks inside. And I also received the wine that I ordered from them, which is also halfway gone. A friend of mine came over and we had a little wine and movie night. This wine was actually pretty good. Thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. So if you don't know what Thrive Market is, Thrive Market is basically an online membership-based grocery store and they make healthy living easy and affordable to everyone. Thrive Market has a membership model where you can purchase a yearly membership and that allows you to shop their online store of organic, non-GMO, and sustainable products priced 25 to 50% off retail. I wanted to try them out because coming back from vacation, eating out every day, not working out, just trying to get back into the routine and you know, making meals, eating healthier, all that stuff. Thrive Market is literally perfect for that. You can shop for thousands of best-selling organic foods and natural products below traditional retail prices. So you can get healthy foods at a better price. And they have an amazing selection of organic groceries, snacks, supplements, eco-friendly, like cleaning supplies, non-toxic beauty items, personal care items, organic kids products if you like buying like organic food and snacks for your kids, wine, meat and seafood, frozen veggies, and so much more. They have many different options to choose from for whatever it is that you're looking for. If you're vegan, if you're on a keto diet, if you want gluten-free, if you want non-GMO, if you want everything organic, you can filter things out. You can shop by over 90 plus different diets and values. So let me show you guys what I got. I got a bunch of healthy snacks because that's the main thing I feel like. Like I love snacking on things, but if I have a bunch of junk food in my pantry, that's not gonna help me because that's all I'm gonna eat is unhealthy chips, cookies, brownies. To help yourself out, it's always great to get healthy snacks. A lot of these are open already because I opened them and I had to try them. This is organic mango and chili, chili fruit bites. They actually taste like you're eating a mango with chili on them. They look like little balls like this and they're chewy, they're nice and soft. I love these. I didn't even know things like this existed. I also got these, which are organic mango and guava whole fruit gummies. I love gummies. I don't know what it is. I'll randomly crave gummies like throughout my day. I think it's just the texture. And these are freaking delicious. We never add unnecessary ingredients like sugar, corn syrup, or gelatin. Just mango, a touch of guava, and vitamin C. And that's all my body needs. And then I got two bags of skinny dipped almonds, dark chocolate cocoa. These are a perfect snack if you want something sweet. These are delicious. I also already opened this bag and was snacking on those. This is mint dark chocolate gems, vegan, organic, paleo friendly. If you like mint chocolate, these are delicious. Next, I got these buffalo banana munchies chips. They're gluten free, vegan, grain free, and I have not tried these yet, so I'm gonna try these because these were so interesting to me. I was like, buffalo banana chips? Oh my God. They don't even taste like banana. It kind of tastes like potato chips that are a little bit garlicky and a little bit spicy. These are great. I thought they were gonna be a little bit weird because I was like, they're gonna taste like banana and spicy. Like, 
spicy banana. <laughs> Next, I got these avocado oil potato chips, smoky barbecue, gluten-free, non-GMO. Looks like a barbecue chip. Mm. Delicious. Good thing I got two of those. <laughs> And then I got these dark chocolatey peanut filled pretzel nuggets. And these are gluten free, non GMO. Mmm. These are really good. You can taste the dark chocolate, you can taste the saltiness of the pretzel. There's even a peanut inside. And then I got this because I ran out of detergent. So I got this. This is rosy detergent. No harsh chemicals, no synthetic fragrances. Rosy stain fighting formula is made with eco-friendly ingredients you can trust so your clothes stay brilliantly clean. I kinda wanna smell it now. Ooh, I love that. It smells super fresh, very fresh like flower, lavender-y. And then of course, as I told you guys, they also have wine on there. So I got myself a nice little bottle of wine. This one is Toscano, made with organically grown grapes in Italy. They have a monthly membership that you can get for only $9.95 a month. And they also have a yearly membership option, which is $59.95, which is equal to only $5 a month. So if you guys are interested in living a more sustainable, healthy, lifestyle or you just want to try a bunch of healthy snacks and foods and feel a little bit better about what you're putting into your body you guys can click the link in my description box or you guys can go to thrivemarket.com slash melissa estrella i'll have it right here and in the description box as well and you can get 40 percent off your first order and a free gift worth over fifty dollars when you join thrive today and we all know sometimes buying healthier options it's always a little bit more expensive so that's why I love Thrive Market because it makes it so much easier. It makes it possible for low-income families to have access to natural and organic foods and products easily. Thank you Thrive Market for sending me these items and sponsoring today's video. Ignore that. That's for a future video. That's also for a future video. I don't know why this pillow's in here. This is just my king size pillow that I have two of because I got rid of my king size bed and I didn't want to get rid of this pillow because it's my favorite pillow and it just makes my neck feel amazing. So the tool set that I got is basically because I have not put my nail polishes up on the wall. As I said before that I was going to do, I don't even know how many videos ago I said that, so don't yell at me. Can you see my butt in the back? Why does it look so flat? <laughs> there. That's better. So over here, I got a bunch of hats, which I'm also gonna put in there, and like beanies and stuff in here, but these two bags are basically full of swimwear. I'm gonna sort through that right now because I'm pretty sure there's some bikinis in here that I don't want anymore. Those are gonna go in one of these bins, and then in the other bin, I'm gonna just put like extra bedding, blankets, pillow covers, that type of stuff. start with the nail polish rack project. I want to put it over here on this wall. I don't like when I can't do things myself. What am I talking about? I love things being done for me. <laughs> when you live by yourself, you kind of have to do everything yourself. It would be great to have someone who's wifey material around here because that would make one of us. We gotta make sure there's obviously room for them to see. Stand. Also gotta make sure that this thing is level, so. Good thing I bought a tool set. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm doing this because I haven't done my nails in I don't even know how long. Like, I always get my nails done. Oh, that reminds me. Yesterday, I went to go get my nails done. I just got a classic, beautiful French tip. And I also got my toes done because 
Bro, my nails coming back from Mexico looked atrocious. I'll pop up the before and after photos so you guys can see. Coming out of the nail salon with a new set of nails and freshly done toes. It's one of the things that I live for, honestly. I just love the feeling of it. I don't feel put together when my nails look like crap. This definitely put me in a better mood yesterday. The leaf blower guy is kind of cute. <laughs> I can blow my leaves any day. done the only thing that I didn't do is use these anchors for the screws but when I put in the screws it honestly felt super sturdy I know nail polishes can get kind of heavy but it honestly feels insanely sturdy so I think it should be fine if it bites me in the ass later on oh well I am honestly kind of living my teenage dream right now because ever since I was a teenager watching YouTube videos I always wanted to have a nail polish rack like in my room and now I have this these are all nail polishes that are like insanely old now I'm gonna clean up all this mess but I'm glad that I got this done Thank you. 